Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Petrus Foray. It's time for algebra, and today we are going to be looking at linear sequences. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want to remind you to hit subscribe so that you can get updates immediately as soon as there is any changes or activity on the site. Now, what is a sequence? That would be our first starting point. So, a sequence is basically a pattern. Now, when do we call a linear sequence? When do we call a sequence linear? The first thing is, it is a linear sequence, especially when the common difference is the same. So, we call it a linear sequence because the difference between the terms are always the same. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18 is an example of a sequence. This sequence is escalating with 3. So you are adding 3 between each term. So you can describe this sequence by saying, starting at 3, add 3. And it goes accumulating just like that. Now, according to this um, layout, we have been given our digits ending at 18. But remember, this sequence will be infinite. It will keep adding until you get to such massive numbers. Okay, so there is what we call the term to term um, definition of a sequence. So when you can describe a sequence by its nature in terms of how it uh, moves from each term to the other, when you look at the example that you have been given, 3 is the first term of this sequence, and 6 is the second one. So there is a relationship that we can establish here. So the first term is 3, the second one is 6. 18 is the sixth term, and it goes on to what we call the nth term. So the nth term will be a position that we don't really know. It is representing any position. Now, when you look at the um, term to term rule, what you need to understand is the term to term rule tells us how we find the next term in the sequence. So that is what we call the term to term rule. In the example that we are using, we are simply adding 3 to get to the next term. So the term to term rule for the above sequence, the sequence that we are having, is basically add 3. That is the rule that we are using. Now, you may be asked, what is the hundred term of the following sequence? Remember, it's easy if you are having three or four, five terms of a sequence, you can add up. But when it comes to the hundredth term, that becomes quite a challenge. Now, let's look at the same sequence and see how can we calculate hundred terms of this. It will take almost more than an hour for us to do that. Because remember, you are supposed to keep adding 3 until you get to the hundredth term. So, for you to be able to do that, it will require a certain technique that you need to be using. Because having a rule will simplify things and you can um, make your calculations within the shortest possible time. Remember, that is the beauty of mathematics. It shouldn't be painful. It should be easy always to find a solution. That's when we are coming to the term, what we call the nth term. How do we find the nth term? Remember, I said nth will, is simply representing any term that you can be asked. Using this formula, you can be able to find the 100th term or the 500th term or any position that you will be asked to do. How can we calculate the nth term of any linear sequence? That's what we want to do right now. Okay, let's look at this sequence which you have been given. It's starting at 4 and we keep on adding 3. In this sequence, we are adding 3, that is the term to term rule. Now, how do we get to the nth term? The first thing that we need to do is we are adding 3. So as we add 3, we are going to say our formula is going to be 3n. 
In simple terms, we are going to multiply the difference that we are um, adding between terms. Then we multiply it by n. Now, the next thing that we need to look at is focusing now on the first, the first digit of our sequence. And as we focus on this first digit of our sequence, because remember, it's term to term. So the first digit is 4. So we are going to subtract 4 minus this difference that we have to um, be adding. And when we subtract, it will give us the zero term. So the zero term is the term that would be the starting off before this first one. So we get that by subtracting. So we want to see what comes before 4. So we are simply going to subtract 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. So 1 is the 0 term of this sequence. And what do we do then? We can now go on to say our formula is going to be 3n plus 1. So we will multiply the difference, multiply by n, and then we add the 0 term. That is the formula for this sequence. So 3n plus 1 is the formula. So if you are given a question, find the 90th term where n is, you simply substitute by 90 and you simplify that expression. All right. Let's have a look at a situation like this. This one, the common difference is subtracting 4. Remember in the previous one, we were adding 4. But in this one, we are going to be subtracting 4. So the term to term rule is subtract 4. How do we then calculate the same um, nth term of this sequence? Let's use the same formula that we used. We said we are multiplying the difference between terms and we are multiplying that by n. So we are going to say negative 4 and then we multiply by n to get negative 4n. Remember, what must we do? We need to find out what is the zero term of this sequence. How do we do that? We need to find out since we are subtracting 4, in this case, we are now going to say what comes before 20 to get our zero term. So we are simply going to be adding, which means our zero term is 24. So our formula is now going to be negative 4n plus 24. If you are asked for any position, you simply substitute that position you are given, you substitute it into n, then multiply by negative 4, then add 24. That will take you to the answer of what we'll be having. Sometimes, because we are writing it as a negative, it may be advisable that you can present it like this, just in case you forget to write this negative, and then you end up with 4n plus 24, and that will be wrong. So, in some instances, you can rewrite it as 24 minus 4n. But remember, both of these expressions are correct. Right. It's time for an independent task that you can work on. Can you pause this video and calculate the nth terms of these sequences? Okay. Once you have calculated, we can now um, cross or verify your answers. It's time to check. Right. These are the answers. Can you mark your work according to what you have found? If, remember, you may have written it starting with the, for example, in this case, negative 2n plus 21, the answer will still remain the same. Right. It has been a great pleasure to learn about sequences today. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit like and post any comments below. Have a pleasant day.